Welcome back to Lord of the Rings, the board game. It is Frodo's turn. We are continuing our uh, trek through the Mines of Moria. Uh, and of course, the first thing we need to do is draw a token from the bag. And we draw, oh goodness, an event. This is awful. <clears throat> it says, reveal a Hobbit card from the deck, and the active player discards two matching card symbols to receive the pipe card. Otherwise, Sauron moves one space and we get the next event happening. So we reveal the card, which is the walking symbol, and this is the absolutely worst thing ever because uh, Frodo has no walking symbol cards, and so Sauron is going to move one space, and we go to the next event, which is trapped. Traveling and hiding must be complete, and they're not. Otherwise, Sauron moves twice and the ring bearer rolls the black die. So Sauron moves twice. He's on 11 already. And Frodo has to roll the black die. But luckily, we get nothing. Oh, man. Brutal. All right, let's draw another token. And this time we get... Okay, this is going to be a really short playthrough. <laughs> we get another event. This is absolutely god-awful. Uh, orcs attack. The group discards five shields, otherwise Sauron moves twice. Well, we only have five shields total, uh, and we're going to have to ditch them. So Frodo has three, Sam has two. That gets rid of all of our shields, but uh, that prevented Sauron from moving two more spaces. Wow, can we get any worse? Let's draw another token from the bag for Frodo. Unbelievable. Wow. Another event. And so we get to the end of the Mordor track right now. Fly, you fools. One player has to move three spaces ahead. Otherwise, each player rolls the black die. Ah, oh, this really sucks. Um, well, I don't know. This is horrible. So we'll have Sam go three spaces ahead. Um... And wow, that is just brutal. Well, let's go over to the player area. We've basically finished Moria uh, in a very bad state, and you'll see why. Uh, let's go to the player area and wrap up at the end of the Moria scenario. Well, all I can say about that was that was a load of horrible. Uh, so the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at the life tokens. Uh, now, Pippin has all three life tokens, so he's not going to move on the track. So that's at least something. Sam only has one life token and Frodo only has one life token. So both of them are going to move two spaces ahead. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. All right. Not what we wanted. So Sam's going to have to go ahead too and Frodo goes ahead too. And yeah, not good. All right. Let's go uh, back and continue with end of... Uh, scenario events with the character. All right, so what we look at next is who has the most ring symbols. Well, Frodo has one and Pippin has one, but the ring is going to pass clockwise to the uh, character if there's a tie. So the ring's actually going to pass over to, oh, Pippin has two ring tokens, never mind. Pippin is going to be the ring bearer. All right, so that's what's going to happen. We remove the tokens. Uh, and now the new ring bearer at the end of scenario gets to draw two cards. So he gets a Walking symbol and that. So, all right. Well, they've made it through the Mines of Moria, not unscathed, uh, but now they are off to Elorian. All right. So we've gotten out of the Mines of Moria and we're off to Lothlorien. Uh, the first thing we do is uh, Galadriel receive the feature cards. So there are 12 Lothlorien cards and these are going to be handed out uh, like we happened in Rivendell. Um, and so we're going to go ahead to the player area and we're going to dish out the Lothlorien cards. At least they're good cards. All right, so I'm shuffling up the Lothlorien cards and we're going to deal them out. All right, so it's going to be, of course, uh, we're just going to do it out evenly. So Frodo is going to get Lumbus, which one player draw six Hobbit cards to increase the hand size to six. Sam gets a box of Earth. Uh, Pippin gets the Galadriel card. And Frodo gets Elisir, one player moves back one space, uh, and Sam gets the Elven Cloak. And Pippin gets Arwen, and Sam gets the boat, or sorry, Frodo gets the boat, Sam gets the bow, 
Pippin gets the belt. One player, do not roll one of the black die. Uh, Frodo gets the brooch. And Sam gets elven rope. And Pippin gets the vial, which is active player, do not draw the next tile. So you just go right into your turn. All right, well, they've got a little bit of uh, more cards in their hand now. And uh, we have to go back and continue doing uh, what it says on the Lothlorien area. All right, so the next thing in uh, Lothlorien says, uh, each player may discard two shields to either draw two Hobbit cards or move back one space. Well, guess what? We have no shields at all because we got totally hosed in Moria. Uh, and the last thing is Test of Galadriel. Each player must discard a wild card, otherwise they have to roll the die. Well, isn't that lovely? Uh, let's go to the player area and see who gets to discard a wild card and who gets to roll the die. All right, boy, this is just terrible. This is Frodo's hand, and of course Frodo has no, uh, no wild cards at all. He doesn't even have a white regular Hobbit card, so he must roll the die. So let's roll the die for him. And it means Sauron moves ahead one. Oh, that's great. Let's go and do that. All right, fantastic. Sauron is already at space number 10. He's only five spaces away from Sam. Huh. Let's go back to the player area. All right, does Sam have better luck? Does Sam have a wild card? Sam has the Box of Earth wild card and Sting and a wild card. So he'll uh, he will play the Box of Earth wild card, so he doesn't have to roll the die. Although I'm wondering if he should just keep that and roll the die, but nah, he's pretty far ahead. Uh, so we'll just leave him there. Alright, and um, next up is going to be uh, Pippin. And I think Pippin has the same problem. He, he has double um, wild cards, but he does not have a single wild card. He has three double wild cards and no single walker. He could use the belt to not roll the black die, but he's way at the back, so he's going to go ahead and he's going to roll it off the table and onto the floor. I'll have to pick that up and we'll be right back. All right, retrieved it from the floor. <sighs> like I said, it's going to be a very short playthrough. Pippin is going to move three spaces up the corruption track. Let's go have a look and see where that All right, so Pippin, one, two, three. So this is just looking horrible. All right, back to the sort of meta board, and I think we're going to be traveling over to Helm's Deep. Indeed, we're finished with Lothlorien. Wow, it didn't do us any favors. And now we're on to Helm's Deep. So we're going to have to bring out the Helm's Deep scenario board. So I'll get that set up. We'll have a quick look at it, and that will be the end of this episode. All right, so here's a look at Helm's Deep. Again, beautiful artwork by John Howe. Uh, this time we have a battle of Helm's Deep. We have a battle uh, track. That's the main track we have to get through. We have a friendship track. And we have a travel track, which has a complete at one stage, which is Riders of Rohan Reinforcements, and Arrival of the Ents is the very end of the track. <clears throat> we have six, of course, horrible events, Worm Tongue Unmasked. Each player discards a friendship and a battle symbol. Otherwise, remaining Helm's Deep feature cards are discarded. There's four of them. Riders of Rohan, a friendship complete, uh, which is this one. That's pretty hard to do on the second event. Uh, you get the Riders Rohan card, otherwise Sauron moves ahead and the Ring Bearer rolls a black die. And Pippin this time is the Ring Bearer at the start of uh, Helm's Deep. Orc's attack at the first traveling uh, is not complete, which is here. The Sauron moves twice. Fire of Orthanc, reveal a Hobbit card from the deck. And the active player discards two matching symbols, otherwise each player rolls the black die. And Orcs storm forward. The group discards a heart, a sun, and a ring token. Otherwise, Sauron moves twice, and uh, orcs conquer Helm's Deep, the very last one. Uh, if second traveling complete, which is this over here, then Sauron only moves twice. Otherwise, he moves twice, and the ring bearer rolls to black die. So, I don't know. I think I've had an awful, awful start, but uh, maybe that's how this game goes. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Join me next time for Helm's Deep. We're playing Lord of the Rings, the board game.